Hi, my name is Dr. Jose Soria Lopez, and I am a memory and neurology doctor here at the University of California, San Diego. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, diagnostic uh, procedures for Alzheimer's disease and related dementia. Um, Alzheimer's disease refers to a particular onset and course of cognitive and functional decline. It is characterized by an insidious onset, slow progressive decline with usual um, usually with loss of episodic memory, where the patient can ask questions repeatedly, repeat conversations, and have difficulty remembering details of events. The accurate detection and diagnosis of memory problems are two critical components for early intervention for this uh, disease process. We want to better understand how to detect and diagnose cognitive changes, particularly early in the disease process. The solution is to have better screening, diagnostic, and confirmatory tests that can help us uh, diagnose and track changes over time. I want to share with you what is required and what goes into one of the procedures. Um, one, one test includes the use of lumbar puncture or spinal fluid collection for evaluation of cerebral spinal fluid. Uh, this allows for evaluation of a biomarker of the disease. A biomarker is a test that signifies that there is an underlying change that is happening in the brain or the body. This uh, confirmatory test uh, can be limited by the invasiveness of the procedure and by the health profile of the person. A lumbar puncture is implemented in our clinic on a routine basis to diagnose uh, neurological disorders. It is routinely performed at our University of California, San Diego Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. Before performing the procedure, the physician explains it carefully in order to reduce concern and anxiety. At our center, we will determine if there are medical reasons that would exclude you from this procedure. The doctors will review your medical records to be sure this procedure is safe. After the procedure, the most common complications include post-lumbar puncture, back pain, and headaches. To minimize these complications, we use special needles that are smaller and more flexible. An aseptic technique is applied to reduce the risk of infection. The procedure can be performed in the sitting position or laying on your side. The area is disinfected. A local anesthesia is applied superficially to alleviate the pain. And the needle is inserted in the back well below the area where the spinal cord ends. A suitable amount of spinal fluid is collected. The needle is then removed and a bandage is applied at the site of insertion. The patient uh, remains down for a few minutes uh, and then gets up slowly to avoid lightheadedness or headaches. Printed information is provided about possible complications and how to respond. The entire procedure can take anywhere from 20 to 35 minutes. The professionals uh, who administer this procedure are excellent at helping the patient feel safe and comfortable. We need your help. Uh, we need volunteer participants for this procedure. By volunteering, you are contributing to research, helping us advance this essential science. Please call us or email us with any questions. Thank you.